I think I came comparatively late to the Royal Court. It's not a theatre I used to go to regularly in my early life. I think I used to feel that the Royal Court was a place for cool kids. And it took me quite a while to realise that you actually become a cool kid the moment you step inside. So once I realised that, I used to come all the time. Um, I remember seeing uh, Death and the Maiden. That made a big impression on me at the time. Um, I remember that whole season um, in the West End uh, when the refurbishment was happening. The Royal Court has just become more important with every year that's gone past in my professional life until I came here to work five years ago. I remember the West Bridge by Rachel Delahaye. I remember it here, but I remember it even more when it went to Peckham as part of um, the work we did there. I just, I, I always knew that that uh, Peckham season was a good idea, but I had no idea how brilliant an idea it was until I sat there with that utterly different audience in that totally different atmosphere and saw that play just take it by storm. And having seen it here and then having seen it there, which is a chance you don't often get, plays are usually on and then gone, uh, that one really sticks in my mind. And, you know, other things. Obviously, Jerusalem was kind of unforgettable. Um, um, love and Information. I adored that. Who would have thought a writer at that stage of their career would produce such an astonishing thing? Earlier this year, there was a survey which showed that for the first time ever, new plays, productions of new plays, outnumber productions of classics in this country. That is the culmination of a process that the Royal Court started, taking new plays seriously, taking them as seriously as classics. The, the thing about a, Royal, a play at the Royal Court is you don't know if it's going to work. Every single time, we don't know if the play is going to work, and that is extraordinary. Most theatres can, in the end, fall back on putting on a play that everybody knows works. We never have that luxury. Uh, and so there is always that sense of uh, danger is, you know, a word I don't particularly like to use in theatre context. But there is always a possibility of disaster. And I think that, you know, keeps things lively, keeps things interesting. It also matters because playwriting matters in this country. In the UK, playwriting matters in a way that it doesn't matter so much in almost any other country I know. And that's partly just because the founding artist of our culture was a playwright. Uh, which means that plays and playwriting are kind of central in a way that they're not necessarily elsewhere. But the Royal Court has more than done its bit in keeping that playwright centrality going. The fact that we know Shakespeare worked more or less like the writers who are here now, the fact that we know he did drafts, that we know he watched previews and thought, yikes, and changed things, that process is still going on. It's going on here, and that's one of the reasons it's important. I remember a friend of mine one said that if ever on Desert Island Disc, when asked what book he would take, he would say, a book I haven't read yet. And I've always thought, that's, that's my wish. I mean, if I could think what I want to happen, then that would, be, that would be a plan, not a wish. My wish is that something happens that takes me completely by surprise, and I think I never thought they would do that. When I was working for the Royal Court as an actor, I was in Richard Bean's first play, Toast, and it was a very funny play, and... I will never forget one night at the end, after the curtain call, Mark Williams, who was playing the lead role in the play, stepped forward with the agreement of the company and told the audience, um, tonight uh, Sarah Kane took her life. And there was a decision that we would announce that because she was a member of the Royal Court family. I don't think there's another theatre that would have felt that way about a writer. That was very moving. In fact, it's more moving than I realise now I say it. And then in the last week of that run, same play, same actor, stepped forward off the curtain call and said, we also have good news to share, which is that tonight the writer of this play became a father for the first time. <laughs> I think everybody thinks where they work is like a family. I've never believed it as much as I do here, and those two things summed it up for me.